Hi, welcome to Circle Time today. Sue, come on out here. It's time for our Bible story. Sue, look, our friends are here today and it's time for a Bible story. Are you ready? Well, Sue, before we get started, I want to show you something. This is a quilt. It's super soft and I like to get under it and just be nice and cozy. Well, it reminds me of a Bible story and it comes from the book of Psalms. And remember the Bible is God's word and it's true and trustworthy. Well, in Psalms 91 in verse four, it says he, and is talking about God, will cover you with his pinions, that means feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You know, Sue, that kind of reminds me of that quilt. When I get up under that quilt, I feel comforted and I feel safe and happy, and you know, that's what God does. He puts us under the shelter of his wings, kind of like a mother bird puts her babies up under her wings. So they feel warm and safe and comforted. And that's what God will do for us. He's such a good God. I hope that um, you always remember that, Sue. And I hope you remember it too, that God will always protect you and comfort you and be with you no matter what. Okay, Sue, it's time for you to sit on the carpet because we're going to begin our circle time. And our letter for today is the letter Q. Q looks like this. There are two for every letter in the alphabet. There's an uppercase and a lowercase letter. And here's what Q looks like. Let's learn how to write it, okay? So Q looks a lot like O. You're going to make an O, in fact. And then you're going to give it a tail. So here's Q, make an O and give it a tail. That's it. That looks pretty easy, right? So let's try it on the handwriting house. So we're going to make an upstairs and downstairs O. And then we're going to give it a tail. Let's take a look. Okay, so upstairs and downstairs, a great big O. Then we're going to go to the middle of the downstairs and we're going to slide to the green carpet or to the bottom downstairs line. So we're going to do an O, come in the middle of the downstairs and then slide down. This is a big Q. Let's do one more so you can see. Well, there you go. Now, before we do little Q, I have a question for you. Who likes to go fishing? I do. And it's super fun if we can go together with our family. Well, when you go with your family fishing, I bet a grown up helps you to put some bait on a hook. So little Q is kind of like a hook. It looks like this. There's a little circle, so it's a lot smaller than the big Q, but then, there's something that kind of looks like a fishing hook. So you're going to go straight down and then just bounce right out. So this is the little or lowercase q. Let's see if we can write it on the handwriting house, okay? So this time our little circle is going to go downstairs. And just like A, because it's going to remind you when we start to write it, you'll kind of see it reminds you of A. Just like A, go back to the top and then come all the way down, but keep going and then do that fish hook part. So here we go. It's that circle and that little fishing hook. Circle, and I'm going to do it in a different color. I'm going to come back up in a different color so you can see that you go all the way back up and then come down again. Circle and then that fishing hook. So this is the little letter Q. You can pause here and practice or you can practice later and don't worry, the handwriting house printables, will, the link will be below. Okay, let's play a little game to help us practice what Q sounds like, okay? Q says qu as in Quiet. Q says qu, qu, qu. Can you make the sound that Q says? Q says qu, as in quiet. Q says qu, qu, qu. Very good. So let's play the quiet game, okay? So we can just be loud and move around, but when I say three, two, one, 
quiet. Then we're gonna freeze and get really quiet until the timer beeps, okay? You wanna play? Here we go. So let's just, let's just have fun and move around and clap and make noises. Three, two, one. Can make noise again. That was a really good job being quiet. Let's try it again, okay? So let's be loud. Let's make some noise. Let's move around. Three, two, one. Quiet. We did it. We did it. That was super hard to be quiet. The quiet game is really hard. But did you know that Q says qua? And that game might help you today to practice that sound. Q says qua as in quiet. And Q says qua as in something else. Remember the quilt that I showed you during our Bible story time today? Q says qua as in quilt. And that's what we're going to talk about later today. Okay, let's talk about our number. And for our number, did you know we're going to make a quilt together? Before we do, let's talk about this number. That's the one we're going to practice today. But look at this. Wow. This is the number nine, and it looks an awfully lot like the little Q, except for without the little fishing hook part. So let's see if we can draw a number nine on the handwriting house, okay? So we're going to do our O, but this time it's going to be upstairs. And then we're going to come all the way downstairs. And that's the number nine. No fishing hook this time. So it's going to be a circle. Come straight down. A circle upstairs and then come straight down with a number one. Circle one. So that's the number nine, and now we're going to count some quilt squares. So a quilt is just a blanket that's made from putting lots of different pieces of fabric together. So take a look at this. This is a lot of different squares, and we're going to join them together to make a quilt. Will you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, look how pretty that turned out. That's a really pretty quilt. How many quilt squares did we have? Nine, we had nine. Good job counting. I have something else I'd like us to do during our math time today. I'd like for us to complete some patterns. Remember that patterns are when things repeat again and again and again. The tricky part is finding out what's repeating so you'll know what comes next. So let's take a look at this worksheet and it will be linked below. So here we see some dots in the first row, some dots and lines. So that's our pattern. That's what's going to repeat over and over. Can you say that with me? Dots, lines. Dots, lines. Now let's find out what comes next. Dots, what's next? Lines, very good. That comes next. So at home, if you want to print this out, you can cut and glue that square with the lines right there on the first row. Let's look at the second row. I see an X and flowers. X, flowers. X, what's next? Flowers, very good, nice job. Okay, let's take a look at the third row. I see swirls, squiggly lines. Swirls, squiggly lines. That's our pattern. So let's see if we know what's coming next. Swirls, what's next? 
some wiggly lines. Very good. So you can glue that there if you want to. Okay, let's look at the next row. I see stars, squares. That's our pattern. Stars, squares. Stars, squares. Stars, what's next? Squares, very good. Good job with our pattern practice today. Okay, now I'd like for us to talk about our shape and we're going to make something really fun together. Our shape for this week is the hexagon. The hexagon has six sides. So we're going to use some sticks and we're going to make a hexagon pumpkin today. Let's do it. Okay, I know I need six sticks because a hexagon has six sides. Will you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sides. So let's get started. We're going to start by putting one stick at the very top, just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put two sticks diagonally on each side. Diagonal lines are kind of like slides. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put another stick straight across the bottom and just make some more diagonal lines to close it up. Okay, let me get one more stick. Here we go. Okay, so what shape is this? Can you tell me? This is a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. So here's the fun part. You can take your sticks and you can glue them together. The grown up at your house can help you. And then if you'd like to, you can go outside and maybe find a little tree branch and glue that on. And then you can color, color, color the sticks orange like I'm working on doing. And then if you really want to, you can tie on a green ribbon and this makes a really cool hexagon pumpkin craft. So that might be something you'd like to try today. Okay, so that's our shape. And now we're going to talk about our color. For our color, I have something kind of fun. I brought along some pumpkin seeds since we made a pumpkin craft. Today, I thought we'd also look at some pumpkin seeds. What color are the seeds? The seeds are white, very good. Now these are the seeds from my pumpkin last year. I saved the seeds so I could plant them and grow some more pumpkins. Let's see if we can count the seeds since we just did the number nine, okay? Would you help me count them? I'll put them in the jar so you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, nine. There are nine white seeds. These are pumpkin seeds. Okay, so that's our color. We'll keep working on that this week. Now we did our letter and our number and our shape and our color. We didn't do our sight word yet, so let's do that, okay? We've been working on a new sight word this week and that word is can. Can you say can? Can. Very good. Let's see if you remember some of the words we've already learned. What's this word? Ah, uh, very good. Or A. What's this word? And. Good job. What's this word? Away. What's this word? Big. One more. Blue. Now these are the pre-K Dolch sight words. So you can get a copy of those and practice more if you want to. Once more, what's the word that we're working on this week? Can, very, very good. 
Okay, now it's time to talk about quilts. So for that, I'm going to show you a really, really old quilt. Long ago, when people came to America, they didn't readily have stores like we do today. They couldn't just go out and buy fabric, not the same like we can today. So they would find fabric wherever they could. Maybe an old dress or an old shirt or pants, something that had torn and they couldn't use it anymore. It was so worn. They would take those pieces of fabric and cut them into little squares. Then they would glue, uh, not glue, they would sew, excuse me, the squares together and they would make a blanket. When the, um, so when you sandwich uh, these squares together and you glue them uh, and you sew them all together, we call that a quilt. So look at this quilt. Maybe there are pieces of an old dress here or an old shirt. This is a really old quilt. Let's take a look at a quilt sandwich. Now, I'm sure you know what a turkey sandwich is like. There are two pieces of bread and inside there's turkey and maybe even some cheese. Well, a quilt square is kind of like a sandwich. There's a piece of fabric on the bottom. There's a piece of fabric on the top, but in between, there's a soft cottony fabric in the middle. So when you get quilt squares made, when you get enough of them made, it's time to put them all together. So here are some quilt squares that are all ready to be stitched together to make one big quilt. Here's another um, quilt that we can look at and it has, it's made up of lots of different squares. Look at this quilt. It has lots of squares too, but squares aren't the only thing that you can use to make quilts. You can use other shapes. This quilt has lots of triangles on it. Long ago, quilts were made mostly just to keep the people warm that were using them. But today, quilts have become almost like art. Look at the beautiful colors on this quilt. And what shapes can you see? I see hexagons. That's our shape this week. Take a look at the flower on this quilt. Can you see that it almost looks like artwork? Well, if you think that's beautiful, take a look at the next quilt. Yep, that's a quilt. It looks like a painting, doesn't it? Do you see what I mean? Today, quilts are not necessarily always used just for necessity to keep you warm. They are definitely pieces of art. And this quilt even has kitty cats on it. Isn't that pretty? Well, if you have a quilt at your house today, it might be a good idea to snuggle up under it and watch a movie or lay it out straight on the floor and play with your toys on top of it. That would be a great idea. For homework today also, you can take the blank letter Q and you can glue little pieces of fabric squares and make your own quilt. If you'd like to, you can practice writing the letter Q, uppercase and lowercase, and the number nine on the handwriting house. I hope that you have fun, had fun today learning about quilt, and I hope you'll join me next time for Circle Time. So come on out, we're gonna say goodbye to our friends. That was super fun. Do you wanna have some fun and maybe watch a movie on a quilt? Okay, that sounds like a good idea, Sue. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.